What's up guys, this is Matt from Top Tier here, back at you with another video. Um, it looks like we just got a drop of Elden Ring. This is the official gameplay rebuild trailer. Um, this just dropped, so I'm going to go ahead and take some time here to do a little analysis video um, of the trailer. But anyways, this game looks pretty awesome, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the trailer. So we have this character here on the horse. She has some kind of ring on, as you can see. From Software and Bandai Namco Entertainment present. Same character on the horse there. A new world created by Hit <laughs> Hitotaki Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin. There's that same character again. The Tarnish will soon return. Okay, so we don't know what that means yet. Okay, so here's a pretty good shot. I don't know if this is the overworld, but if you, as you can see, look at this land down here. It looks like maybe this is one of the maps. Um, so as you can see, it's far more open than um, any of the Dark Souls games so far, um, if that's true. And this actually is part of the map. But it looks pretty awesome. Uh, we have like a town, a castle up here. Then over here, we have kind of like some ramparts. And then there's a giant tree, like some kind of tree of life thing that's coming out of the ground. It looks pretty sweet. Guided by Grace, once lost. There's a better shot of the tree. Here we have um, a more grounded view of the overworld on the map here, which looks pretty awesome. We have some kind of, uh, you know, elder guy over here on the roof here. This looks like kind of like a sunken area um, in the midst of a town here. The graphics look beautiful. Uh, so we have some battlements here. We have some soldiers. Um, this looks like another part of the map here. Um, there's these huge rock walls jutting out, as you can see. So it's kind of got like an autumn background, which is kind of nice. Here's another section which might be um, over by those uh, the ramparts and the, the town area over there that we saw earlier. But this looks pretty cool. There's this symbol here we could see right here that we see um, elsewhere. Um, you have a statue here with some wolves and a character. And then kind of dead bodies baked into these into the structure here. Here's another cool shot, um, another map here, it looks like we have, I don't know if these are enemies, but we have some people, um, they, they look almost kind of zombie-like, but we have a huge bonfire here, and um, it's raining, it looks almost like Breath of the Wild, pretty cool. So here's what I believe is the main character, I think this is the main character here, I think that's probably confirmed, but um, overlooking the ocean, this is a great shot, these graphics just look stellar. Here we have the main character again, or what I presume to be the main character, casting some kind of spell. And here's another shot of this open field here. This looks absolutely beautiful. It looks like this game is going to be more open world, so that's awesome. I mean, I can't wait for this. It's really the evolution of the Dark Souls series. So here's that same area we saw earlier, um, you know. And you could, it looks like so you're traveling through it on horseback. So I think in this game, traveling um, by horseback is going to be one of the main features. It almost reminds me of Zelda, like Twilight Princess here, this shot. Um, as you can see, he's going over this huge cat. Um, yeah. Okay, here's a boss here. This or this might be one of the bosses, but it shows this huge tortoise thing. Um, and it's got like this bell attached to it, like a huge church bell. Um, and then again, there's your main character on the horse down there. Uh, but yeah, there's so much in this trailer to go over. Okay, here we have two giants pulling some kind of cart here. Um, and that looks to be your main character on the horse again, and then you have some other characters over here as well. I don't know if they're enemies or they're friends, but um, this could be some type of merchant. We don't really know yet. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we have a so horseback combat is going to be a huge thing. This well, this is this almost doesn't look like a horse. This looks more like an ox mixed with a horse. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but also pretty cool at the same time. Foul tarnished. Okay, and you see bodies hanging, like body parts hanging by hooks here in this cathedral. Um, okay, so this is, um, I don't know what this is, but it looks to be some kind of face here. And you have the main character climbing up this kind of rope ladder. Oh, I'm playing this in 4K, I gotta say, it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at these creatures right here, these like pot monsters. Damn, this game looks good. In search of the Elden Ring. Okay, so that's the... Ooh, that's a cool monster right here. It almost looks like High Lord uh, Walner from Dark, Dark Souls 3 is kind of the vibes I'm getting from this guy here. But uh, pretty cool looking enemy. So you could see that this is part of the combat right here. 
He's taking on this creature. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. This looks so good. Oh my god, I can't wait for this. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Here's another character right here. Very weird looking character. Kind of a twisted look. Okay, so he's going to take on this. This must be one of the bosses here, okay? They will fight. They will fight. And they will die. So here's some more horseback footage right here. Uh, but I can't wait. I mean, that's so awesome that it's open world like this and you can ride on the horseback. Okay, so your character could scale up those huge walls, it looks like, um, with some kind of ability. In an unending curse. So these are some of the basic enemies, maybe. Uh, here's a bonfire where you can rest it, it looks like. Um, this is a beautiful shot, too, with that tree in the background, that same tree that we saw earlier. But the world appears to be connected. Okay, so here's that, that same character again. It's almost, oh, like a werewolf lycanthrope type character. Okay, so you can pop these things and you get, uh, maybe these are other players that you can have come and join you. That's what it looks like. So there's kind of a multiplayer aspect. Okay, so here's another boss. This boss looks absolutely badass. Some type of dragon-like boss here. Look, look with this guy in the background and you're on horseback. Like, this just looks, this is really like Dark Souls just taking up a notch, you know? For how else is a champion or a lord to be born? There's your character again. Ooh, look at that, he just lanced that guy. This looks fantastic. A lowly tarnish. So a tarnished is what you are in this game. Playing as a lord. So you take on this nobleman here. I command thee to kneel. And here's another one of the bosses, it looks like. Okay, here's an interesting looking boss. Um, but this might be a boss or a sub character. I don't really know. But it's got he's got this huge um, mace here. And then he also has this pot on his head and it's kind of spewing out fire. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so here we have a giant. And as you can see, this giant is so much... I mean, he's got to be about 10 times bigger than your actually player character. Um, and you can see that tree of life in the background is kind of a point of reference. Um, this reminds me very much of Dark Souls 3. And you probably, If you play Dark Souls 3, you know what I'm talking about. Or even kind of parts of Bloodborne. Okay, here we go. So here's up in the castle. Here's another, um, like, Wendigo-type character. Okay, here's, um... Wow, there's just so much to unpack here. Oh, my God. This character, I'm not sure who this could possibly be. Um, shrouded in, the, like, they've got a robe and a mask on. Looks interesting, though. Um, here's some kind of royal character in the background here. They've got a painting of a king and it looks to be a guard over here uh, to her right. So that's kind of interesting. This guy here, I don't know what his deal is. He's studying in the background. Okay, here's that face thing again that we saw earlier, but now it's actually he's combating and it's going and it's got all these flames like kind of shooting out of it. That's really cool looking. Um, but yeah, that appears to be one of the boss creatures in the game. Okay, so we've got a lot here. Okay, this is your character probably <laughs> at the start. I don't really know, but a naked guy there. Here's another character with wings. Um, pretty cool. I don't know if that's your character or a boss. Here he is going up against a, another character here. I think it was the same werewolf characters before. With the axe. Brandish the Elden Ring. Okay. This game looks stellar. Elden Ring for all of us. Yep, it is that same character. Oh, wow. So here's that same symbol that we saw in the background there. And it's going to be on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC. As we already know. Okay, so here we go. The release date... January 21st, 2022. So that's about when I thought it would be, um, which is excellent, man. I cannot wait for this game. This game looks absolutely insane. It's like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, but just open world, which is going to be so... I mean, I, can, I don't even know. This is just mind-blowing, really. Um, it's been a long time since I've been hyped for this game, man. It's crazy. Um, I love Dark Souls 3 so much, and this is just... Like, seeing this is just amazing, I got to say. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, yeah, that was it. That was the um, the gameplay reveal for Elden Ring. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Are you as hyped as I am for this? Because this game looks like this is the game that I'm most hyped for next year, hands down. I don't really think anything comes close. Um, 
Elden Ring is where it's at. I love the From Software games. Uh, Sekiro is one of my favorite games of all time, and so is Dark Souls 3. So this just looks like that, but expanded upon. This is insane. So I just can't stop smiling. Anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button, bang the bell, and subscribe if you want to. Um, anyways, this has been Matt from Top Tier. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.